If you are a freelancer, you obviously know the name of Upwork. Upwork is the leading freelancing platform and uh, most of the freelancers start their freelancing career on Upwork. In this video today, we are going to talk about Upwork and we are going to know how to select the right project for yourself. Okay. Now on Upwork, we need connections to apply for a project, right? And those connections are limited if you are using a free account. However, if you are having their plus plan, you can actually have more number of connections. But then each of these connections are hence very expensive. Okay, so you need to know where exactly you need to apply so that your connections are justified or they are not wasted. In this video, we're going to talk about exactly that. So if you're interested, watch this video till the end and I'm sure you're not going to miss out on anything. Thanks a lot for watching. Welcome back. My name is Stan and you are watching the Indian Freelancer YouTube channel. I am working on Upwork since the days of Odesk and Elance. If you are one of those uh, older freelancers who have worked like uh, 10 years back or maybe 7 8 years back, you would know that there were two other companies named Odesk and Elance. Now Upwork was a, a combination of these two companies and uh, now if you go you will not find Odesk or uh, Elans but only thing that is left is Upwork okay those two companies were merged and they formed Upwork. Upwork has since then led the market in freelancing okay most of the freelancers as I said they start with Upwork and Upwork is the best online platform for long term freelancing projects like I always talk about Fiverr, Fiverr is something where someone can get very very small uh, projects okay like five dollars ten dollars twelve dollars projects but then on upwork you should always look for long-term projects which will run for around six months or maybe a year or two okay so that's the difference between upwork and fiverr now there are a lot of other differences we're not going to talk about those in this particular video because in this video we're going to learn what are the different aspects of different projects that we need to see before we use our connections to apply for those projects on Upwork. Okay, so let's log into Upwork and see what are the different options that uh, are there in each project that you find on Upwork. Okay, let's log in. All right, so I've logged into my Upwork account and you can see once you have logged in, you will find a list of jobs okay on your feed this is called your feed and you will find all the relevant jobs for which you have made your profile okay now if you want to search for something you can use this search bar on the top or you can just scroll through this feed now we're going to scroll through this feed and we're going to talk about different things different aspects that you can check before you apply for a particular job okay all right so let's get started the first one here you can see is a listing job okay before that i'm looking for virtual assistant excel research jobs okay i want to work as a virtual assistant and i want to work in uh, excel also okay so these are the two things that i'm searching as of now okay all right so let's see what are the lists that they have uh, already shown in my feed first one says listing job looking for a good worker and a fast learner which will be posting and ads whatsapp me directly so this is a very big red flag never contact the buyer outside upwork okay this can be obviously against the policy of upwork but also this can be a fraud so many of these fraud people who just upload their projects on upwork they look for this uh, newbie newbie freelancers who are not so much accustomed with the, with the market and they do not know that contacting the buyer outside the platform may be very risky okay so this can be a fraud directly skip this kind of jobs okay so here you can do this uh, dislike then just not interested you can select an option vague description unrealistic expectations too many applicants job posted too long ago poor reviews about the client does not match my skills i'm overqualified budget too low here i think the best would be vague description okay all right 
next again the same thing okay on this job we have already talked about contacting the buyer outside the platform now let's see the other things here first of all you can see the payment is unverified never apply to a client where payment is unverified that means the client is not serious and your your connections are going to be wasted okay the thing is he is a very new guy he may not know it that is also possible but let's not use our expensive connections to to just test this kind of buyers okay so i'm not going to apply for a job where the payment is unverified also you can see that there is no feedback he's very new he has not spent anything okay so these are the things which you should watch before even opening the job description so i'm not going to use this i'll dislike and again i'll choose the option vague description okay next one real estate mailing list assistant i'm looking for a virtual assistant that is skilled in excel who will be manipulating data and scrubbing list down to only the required information begin your message to me with the words real estate okay so here this is not very bad because the payment is verified the instructions are also clear he knows exactly what he wants okay and it is also within my domain like i want to be a virtual assistant using excel so this this is falling in my domain but then a thing that you can see here is that there are too many proposals already okay this job was posted 2 hours ago but there are already 20 to 50 proposals that are sent by different freelancers okay so the chances of you getting getting selected is little less in this so i would not probably apply for this particular job okay the other thing that you can see is that this guy has no feedback yet okay that means that he may not have uh, ha have awarded any job and none of his jobs are are completed okay the freelancers must, must not have got the opportunity to rate him and he has spent only 300 dollars on upwork okay that may be one or two or two projects um, that he has spent but with no reviews so this is not a 100% um, happy job or matching job which i would probably apply okay all right the other thing that you can see here is uh, he has mentioned begin your message to me with the words real estate now most of the time the freelancers okay they do not read the entire job description you just see the title and they come here and they apply so it is very important for the buyer to know that uh, the freelancer has actually read the description and he is uh, competent enough to even apply for it okay so that's why they put something like this in their uh, in their description maybe at the last of the description you will find somewhere say uh, saying that um, write these words uh, write hello at the start of the of your uh, application so that i know that you have read the entire description so buyers do that so it's very much recommended that you go through entire description of the job before you even apply for it okay or right. next so this uh, i'm not going to apply and i'm not going to dislike it because um, it's okay it's not uh, very vague okay now the thing is uh, he is going to give 5 dollars hourly this may not be something which i'm very interested in because my rate is little higher than that okay all right Let's see the next one. Featured. Now, featured job posts are those which the client have paid extra to showcase on the top of the list. Okay, you can see here, this client paid to post their job and reach freelancers like you. This means that the client is very much interested and he is going to definitely award the job to somebody. Okay, as he is uh, paying extra to get this job featured. so he's going to close this job very very soon okay all right so hourly he has not mentioned how much he is looking for an intermediate um, assistant virtual assistant okay and he's saying that the job is going to be for more than 6 months and there are going to be 30 plus hours per week so this is ideal i am also looking for a long term prospect where i can work maybe maybe the maximum time of my day okay normally if you are working 8 hours a day the total number of hours in a week is 40 okay so that is what i am looking for and all these things are matching 
uh, for me okay let's see the job description wait so description is little big so before i open it let's see the other things proposals less than five okay number of freelancers needed is looking for two freelancers payment is verified that's a blue tick here then he has five stars rating based out of five feedbacks so this guy has got five feedbacks already so he's already in the business and he has spent over 100k dollars on upwork so he's a very huge amount you can know that this guy is pretty serious about what he's asking okay so all these are green ticks i'm going to open this job and go through it later on okay so this is selected i'm also going to give a heart to it so that it's saved in my save job list okay you can scroll up you can see there are saved jobs you can save those by clicking on this heart and you can apply to that later on in this video i'm not going to show you how to apply i'm not going to show you how i write my proposal but uh, that is obviously a big thing and i'm going to create a different video on that in this particular video i'm only showing you what are the different aspects that you should see before you apply uh, on upwork okay all right let's see the next job again the first thing actually that i see is here okay i come here i see the payment verified or not i see how much um, stars he has he has only one feedback so it's not very relevant and how much he has already spent on upwork this gives me a clear idea whether this uh, particular buyer is actually serious about his job or not okay only then i look for the other parts all right so this is okay here is okay uh, only one review but then still okay if it is matching with my requirements i'll definitely apply for it okay so virtual assistant needed for travel professional long term um he's saying i'm seeking an individual to perform administrative duties i need someone that will ensure projects are completed on time clients questions are answered and communication okay so this is something very much um, matching with, with my with my ideal job okay so this is something i would probably apply i'll just make a heart and i'll open it we'll go through it again and there are uh, the hourly rates eight to ten dollars which i think is a little low but then it's okay to start with three to six months estimate time less than 30 hours a week so even if i'm working on two jobs and it's less than 30 hours a week then i think this much uh, hourly is is fine for me okay so let's see that all right so i've opened it in a new window we'll go through it also let's see the next one i need creative and detail researching 10 to 20 dollars an hour he will pay and let's come here payment unverified no feedback no spent i'm not going to apply on this particular job at all even though there are a lot of things which are matching with me like microsoft excel data mining virtual assistant market research these are all things that i do okay but still i'm not going to apply on this he's also um, paying a lot but still i'm not going to apply because of these three things okay very easy to understand very easy to identify so i'm not going to demote it also because um, it is still something people may be interested in all right next data entry for law clients again payment unverified okay i'm not going to apply for this also even though you can see it's a huge uh, payment okay but one thing you can see here even though i am asking you not to not to apply to this kind of job still you can see there are 50 plus proposals already okay there are 50 people who have already applied to this i'm not too sure how much or how many of them are going to be um, hired for this job even if there is one person who is hired okay and um, among so many proposals there may be 100 proposals on that i'm not too sure how much um, how much chance i have of getting hired okay and each of my connections as you already know are very expensive you need multiple connections to apply to these jobs so i would probably keep away from from these kind of jobs okay all right see here this is an interesting one because i keep talking about this um, pay payment unverified money spent and feedback but this guy is a plus buyer plus member okay which means he has paid extra he has taken a plus account on upwork to get 
his jobs done okay so he may be much more interested in the job so if you have to compare with this guy okay you can see that this is a little better proposition because this guy is only paying for a plus membership right so he may be a little more um, interested or serious about this job that he has posted okay all right now we have seen uh, a few important things on, on on top of it okay how you can select the different jobs that you want to apply for you can probably see this one also payment verified he has not paid anything he has not got any feedback as of now but the payment is verified and he has made this job featured that means he is interested to start and and uh, this is also permanent position you can see here he is very much interested in his job so this is something where you may be interested to to apply okay so let's open this also and now what we are going to do is uh, we're going to look into these jobs separately one by one all right so this is the first job that we selected from the from the timeline okay from the feed so let's see the nuances of this job first of all you can see here we need six connects to apply for this job okay to submit a proposal now available connects i have a lot because i have not been using them for for some time but then that's all right uh, you may not have that many connects available to you okay so you may not be able to apply or submit a proposal to all the different jobs that you see which are matching to your requirements okay you understand that that's why i say that these proposals or these connects are very very expensive okay so we use them very very sincerely and submit a proposal only when you are very much sure that your your uh, experience your expertise is matching with what the buyer is looking for okay all right so let's see the description of the buyer on the right hand side here on this this, this uh, side of the, of the page about the client payment verified five star out of five reviews that we have already seen in the feed new information he's from los angeles united states it's 5 a.m right now at that part of the of the world he has posted 25 jobs only 60 percent he has hired this 40 percent he has not hired as of now two jobs are open he is looking for people he's already spent hundred thousand dollars and more okay he has hired 31 people and 21 people are still actively working with this guy so you can see that he's very very serious or he's very very um, known to upwork and most of his jobs you can see 60 percent he has already hired okay so most of the jobs that he posts are getting hired or are taking people okay so that is one good thing next is 6.9 dollars per hour is his average hourly rate okay he has paid for 98 hours so far so you can think of this way also when you are going to apply for this job if your hourly rate does not match with this you can see this is the average hourly rate for all the projects that he has hired for okay so he already has mentioned that in this particular project he's going to pay um i think okay it's not mentioned here so when you are going to apply we're going to submit your proposal you can keep this thing in mind that this guy normally hires someone in, in the range of seven dollars an hour if you are asking too much like twelve dollars or fourteen dollars he may not see your application at all this is a very important information next is he is having a large company with hundred to thousand people okay that means so many people are working with him that means he is much more reliable than someone who does not own a company okay and this guy is member since 2020 so he's here with above for a long time and is more reliable the only thing that i look for before i apply before i submit my proposal is how reliable is the buyer or the client okay if the client is not reliable my connects are going to be wasted okay and you know the connects are are expensive so i have to buy those connects or get those connects every month so i do not want to waste on something which may not yield me a job okay 
Alright, so these things look all fine and then comes the content, the job description. Always ensure that you go through the job description completely. Very, very important. Okay, I'm not going to take you through this particular job description as of now because um, there's not no point. It's a long, long one. When you are going to apply, please read everything very correctly because in your proposal, you're going to talk about the same things. Okay, you're going to mirror whatever is there in the job description. Only then the buyer or the client will know that this guy is interested and he has actually um, applied because he is very much passionate about what he wants to do or what I want him to do. Okay, so read the description very, very carefully. Very, very important. If there is something which is not matching with your skill set and um, you, you are, uh, still want to, you still want to apply for it, please mention that also in your proposal so that the client knows before he hires you. All right. So read that, that's fine. Then we'll come here, you can see other options about this particular job. It's a featured job, which again, increases the reliability of the client. Then as we have already seen, it is for more than 30 hours a week. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, it's for a, more, uh, for a length of uh, six months or more. It's also again, something I, I like, and that's why I probably will be applying for this particular job. Okay, all right, now, here are something extra you can see do you have suggestions to make this project run successfully if you want to make some suggestions as of now you will only know what suggestions you can make after you have read this thoroughly otherwise you will not know what to make right that's why it's very important next what past project or job have you had that is most like this one and why again if you do not know what he's looking for you will not be able to answer this question why do you think you are a good fit for the particular project? All these things you need to apply or you need to reply to before the client even thinks of looking at your application. Okay, so this is very important. And all these things will be only possible once you have read the description. Again, let me repeat, read the description very carefully before you apply. Okay, all right. Next, skills and expertise. These are the skill sets that they're uh, looking for. Then here preferred qualifications he's looking for an independent talent he is not looking for an agency so I match with that English level fluent I match with that as well location Brazil Mexico Philippines Venezuela now this is not something which is not matching with me but then I can still apply for this job okay now it's up to the client whether he wants to look into people who are not from these locations okay anyways if you are very much sure and passionate about this particular job you can definitely apply for it even though you're not from these locations only thing is you may have to adjust uh, your your working timing with this particular client okay all right next activity on this job this will tell you some more information about where this job stands as of now whether you can apply and what are your chances of getting getting uh, hired okay so proposals less than five this is a very very good thing okay there are not many proposals then last viewed by client 30 minutes ago so it's already 5 a.m i think or 5 30 a.m at, at client's place and he has uh, seen it at 5 a.m in the morning so client is very interesting actually so he's not interviewing anyone he's not sent invites to any any upwork uh, freelancer and there are no invites obviously unanswered invites are not there so he's looking for fresh talent maybe and if you're someone who has not worked with this client earlier, maybe he's looking for you. Okay, that's one good thing. Another thing that uh, I always see on all jobs is the client's recent history. Not many clients would have this because uh, as you have seen, the clients who have not paid on Upwork as of now or who do not have uh, feedback or review, they will not have this, uh, this, this area. Okay, but I always look for this because I want to know more about the client. I want to know how he has handled um, different other freelancers and uh, wh what are the uh, feedback of freelancers about the client. So this is very important to me. You can see here, uh, one of these uh, reviews is a one and a half star review. This is, this is a review that the client has given to the freelancer. This is the name of the freelancer. And he has said, would not rehire, he has paid 
build that much i don't know how much she has paid it's not mentioned zero hours i don't know what it is it's not fixed price obviously so this uh, negative one and uh, all these are positive positive no feedback given okay no feedback given on the stars seems like she has good potential to produce high quality blogs but took too long to produce any work so three and a half stars okay no feedback given so you can see one uh, thing about this client he has not given any feedback to the freelancers where everything has gone well wherever he has paid 105 dollars no feedback given 40 dollars no feedback given okay 92 dollars no feedback given only uh, star rating given no feedback given 4040 dollars now only when there was something wrong would not rehire negative review then uh, seems like this one negative review only there the client has given feedback so you can see he's not too much uh, worried about the feedback but then you have to keep him very very happy okay this is a feedback from the freelancer to the client he says the client the company intellisys this is the name of the company you would know more about the client from this also and france france may be the name of the client okay very uh, reasonable all the time and always listen ending this contract is the start of my new journey with the company in a bigger role since they promoted me highly recommended company to work with all of the staff are very kind so it's a, such a positive feedback from the freelancer they might have hired him directly but still they have not given any feedback to the freelancer so this shows that uh, only when there is something wrong this freelancer or this client is going to interact with you okay so you can expect not much of hand holding with this client okay or not much of interactions maybe so that's what you can see from this particular job post let's see the next one all right so this one says they're looking for a virtual assistant needed for travel professional long term okay again let's see about the client uh, only one review he's from united states clever it's only 11 30 pm five jobs posted so far 60 percent hired it. that means three people he has hired already for the five jobs and two jobs are open 200 dollars already spent four hires and one active as of now okay five dollar per hour is the average rate at which he has paid already 37 hours were billed he is a member since the 23rd of june 2021 so not a very old uh, client on upwork again this gives a good good understanding of the client you can say that he's um, probably a growing client he's not not too much reliable but then he's okay he's someone serious about the job he has posted and he's probably going to hire someone here as well okay so this is a very important thing all right again i'm not going to read through this please read very carefully before you apply okay and this um, description is not too long so it's good to read always read okay less than 30 hours a week i think this is not ideal for me because i would look for something which is more than 30 hours a week but if i'm getting to this job i'll probably look for another one which will fill my day okay all right so three to six months again the project length is not too great i would want to get into the project which is longer than six months like one year or so okay then intermediate i am looking for a mix of experience and value this is auto generated by upwork is not written by the client remember that okay all right so he's going to uh, pay eight to ten dollars an, an hour but he if he gets a better candidate okay if you can prove to him that you are, you are much better than that i am sure most of these clients who are who are serious about it they would pay a little more but you can see he has paid only five dollars an hour on average so you may not expect too much too much more than this okay all right again some specific questions that he has uh, mentioned here you have to answer these questions and some of these questions will um, be be answered if you only read the description all right let's scroll down use the skills and expertise this should match with uh, what you have mentioned in in upwork okay next preferred qualification only thing is 
English, you should be fluent in English. That's the only qualification that he's looking for. He's not looking for any rating, not looking for any regional uh, boundaries. Okay, that way is good. There are already 15 to 20 proposals sent on this job. The client has viewed it 15 minutes ago and he's already interviewing two people. Okay, he's not sent any invites. People who have uh, applied for this role, he's interviewing two of those people. Okay. So this is something which will give you some idea about the client or, or the job. Okay. Right. Scrolling down, you can see there are only two reviews. Okay, he has hired three, but there are only two reviews. Uh, no feedback given here. The client is saying rehiring, but the freelancer did not give any feedback. So here the client is, you can say, proactive. Crystal is the name of the client. So while you are going to write the proposal ensure that you mention the name of the client in your proposal that gives a very good personal touch to the client and um, the, your your chances of getting hired will definitely increase other open jobs by this client so this is the other open job new social media reels created for travel professional okay so he's um, or she is i think it's Kristen. so Kristen should be a girl crystal should be a girl so she is looking for a travel travel company okay she is starting a travel company maybe. all right so that's all that we have uh, seen in this particular uh, video to recap let's see what are the different things that we need to look into before we apply for a certain job on upwork all right so here is what uh, i have okay how to choose the right project for yourself on upwork so the first thing that i see is whether payment is verified or not second thing feedback third thing total spent okay total spent by the client okay these are three things that you can see on top then you can see the hourly rate okay and whether um whether this um, job is featured if it is featured it will be more reliable right okay then the other things i see directly on the feed after i get into the job page job page okay what are the things that i see in the job page i see about the client this is the first thing then uh, i see the job description then I see because sometimes you know this uh, when you read the job description you will also get more clarity about what exactly the client is looking for okay then you can also know okay I may not be able to do this because I do not know this particular thing or if you want to spend some more time you can send a message to client you cannot send a message you have to submit a proposal so that does not make sense so you can know more information about the job just by reading the job description more more diligently okay please do that okay the third thing that i i see after uh, looking for the job description is uh, this the project or the job info okay then fourth i see the the skills and expertise okay skills and expertise then i see these two things one is preferred qualification preferred qualifications and activity on this job the last thing is the clients recent history for feedback okay so these are the things i see before i even think or or um, or, or just decide whether I should apply for this particular job or not okay something I, I see or filter out in the field itself and the other things I see once I open the job page okay so I hope you have now got a clear idea of how you should go about applying to a job on Upwork 
okay i'm going to create another video where we're going to look into the different aspects that you need to cover while writing the application okay or submitting the proposal but uh, that would be in another video as of now this video was uh, focused on how to choose the right project or right job for yourself on upwork i hope the information that i've shared is going to help you please let me know in your comments if you have any questions let me know if you want to see different aspects of upwork and i'll definitely create videos on that as well okay thanks a lot for being here if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video take care this is Jan signing off from the indian financial youtube channel take care bye bye